Hey, good morning guys. Uh, good morning, good morning. Today I'm with Mr. Mtua. I know the last video you saw me walking in this street. Actually, I was walking here. But today I'm with Mr. Mtua and family. Uh, because, because Mr. Mtua is driving, let's start with uh, ladies first. Yes. <laughs> hey, Anne. Yes, hi guys. How are you? I'm well, can't complain. Yes. Yes. What's the plan today? Actually, this is your plan. Yeah, yeah. this is going to be a surprise for them. We are not going to let them know. Okay. We'll wait and show them later. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Mtua. Yes. How are you today? I'm good. How about you? Good, good. All right. Guys, before Mr. Mtua introduces himself, is please check in the link here. I have put Mr. Mtua's YouTube channel. He's been a great host with his family. I've been eating a lot of food, cooking ugali. <laughs> Actually, Anne, uh, I want to know one of these days that yeah. you feel tired, I can prepare ugali. That mm -hmm. when you guys come, yeah. you know, sometimes I'm like, should I cook for them? Like yesterday when Mr. Mtua told me to cook ugali. Yeah. <laughs> now I was, I was like measuring the water yes. to cook ugali. Should I cook a lot or should I? Then I said, I'm not sure maybe what time they arrive. And Okay. So this is Mr. Mtua. Uh, let's stop here as Mr. Mtua will be introducing himself. Mr. Mtua, please introduce yourself for the new subscriber, you know. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Mutua Mutua 3 here. Uh, uh, for those who are joining today, yes. uh, I am with Mara and my wife at the back. Yes, that's Anne. Uh, we, I, I actually don't know where we are going. My yeah. wife knows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a surprise for, for us and also our followers. Yes. So please follow us, support Marwa, support me. Yes. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's see where we are going. Surprise visit. This is one of the craziest trips I think we, sh we will be making here in the USA. Yeah. It's two hours from here? Yes. Wow. It's two hours. So let's go. Yes. the farmlands these are the, like the villages yeah. of us right yeah especially like look serious, serious farming serious farming yeah. they have it's corn like almost 50 acres wow no, I'm like taking a picture. yeah guys we just stopped by here because you want to take a nice picture because honestly it looks amazing the view Yeah. <laughs> 
Najua huko ni farmland, vitu zinanuka. Things are smelling because it's farm. Wait, 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 wait. So guys, anytime you see an, a big American flag like that, they are selling cars in that area. That is the information Mr. Mtu has told me this. You know, one thing about American flags is they love flags. Yeah. But sometimes people tend to say people who love flags mostly are Republicans. But uh, generally, this is an American thing. It's an American thing. Yeah. Other countries when you have flag, let's say like me, I'm building my house and I put a flag. Oh, you'll be in trouble. I'll be in trouble, imagine. Like they, they may come and say, what government office is here for you to put a flag? <laughs> Here in America, uh, it's very normal, very common to see flags of the American. Actually, even let's say you Kenyan American or Puerto Rican American, you put Puerto Rican flag and American flag. It's yeah. very yes. common. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can even mount them on your cars. Yeah, even on your cars sometimes. Yeah. Nobody cares. We are cruising in the mountains. We are in a free society. Free society. <laughs> free country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want. You can imagine. Guys, those who are joining here is uh, Anne, right behind us there. She's taking us to some place that we don't know where. <laughs> right. That will surprise you yes. that we are still in America. Wow. Let's go. He says, Welcome to Pennsylvania. Guys, you just. Or you want us to go? Yeah, just go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I've been to Pennsylvania before, you know? Okay, but for the sake of our video, uh, this time too. Okay. Guys, I want to show you something here. You, you took your phone? Take, take your phone. Careful. Guys, I want to show you this. We just crossed the border. Says, Welcome to Pennsylvania. We want to show you here. So, today, our story that we are making will be based in Pennsylvania. Something here, man. That's how you welcome me in Pennsylvania. Pursue your happiness. Oh, yeah. yeah, so so this is Maryland, right? This is Maryland. Pennsylvania, Maryland. Whoa! <laughs> hey, cars move very fast here in, the, in America. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Welcome to Pennsylvania. Okay. There's a small bicycle right there. So today, our story will be best here, okay? Here in Pennsylvania. Guys, this is a very old town. Yeah. Uh, look at this. Should we, we're going straight? Yeah. Uh, it's an old, old it's town. Historic cities. Historic cities, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You can't demolish, you can't change, you can't change the, the external. Wow. Yeah. What's the name of this city, huh? You know it? Check it when you look how people sit outside. Old America. These houses could be like 50 years old, right? Or even more than that. Oh, yeah. Maybe a hundred, right? Yeah. yeah. This looks like White House, but not really. Oh. Guys, can you see a private jet over there? Mini airport. Cruising and 
I think it's time for us to review where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> because we can't keep uh, our tour guide the bar. Please tell hey, us. Hey Anne, where are we going? Uh, you've already shown them where we are going. So no, maybe somebody here. did not see. We're in Pennsylvania at the uh, Amish village. Okay. Yeah. So this village is very unique. Very, very unique. Let's see. And you know, we just realized they have everything. In a quarter mile, against what we thought. Will be on the left. Okay, on the left. So it's just right here. Yeah. We show them on the GPS. Okay, on the GPS. Yes. Yeah, right. Amish village. So we drove here, it's like three hours, right? Uh, yeah, wow. The oh, Amish it's, it's right here. We know oh, the exact Amish. entrance of the it's right it's right Your here. destination is on the left. On the left. So. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's right there. Let's go see. Wow. Amish village. Wow. I hope they will take us to the farm. Yeah, I think this is uh, what they're gonna show. This us. is just the welcome. Yeah. Because I'm told yeah. these people you can record them but not take them pictures. That's wow. the funny part, you know? Oh. You turn your yeah. camera on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Amish village. I'm seeing you people have cars. It's when you all want to wonder, come by, you know? Let's go and see what's going on. This family looks like an Amish family, it's, but you know Amish people don't have cars, so it's not. <laughs> How do they move around? With, with the okay, guys, we're gonna go show you something very unique here, and uh, let's go. Right. They were persecuted in Europe. They started out in Switzerland in 1525, suffered much persecution. Went over into Germany, into Europe. Again, a lot of persecution for their beliefs. William Penn invited them to come to Pennsylvania for religious freedom. So they arrived into Philadelphia, made their way about as far west as here in Lancaster. It's a really good farming country here. Uh, reminded them of the area they left behind. And so they settled down in this area here. Uh, this room that we're in right now was the sitting room of the home. Uh, what they've done is they've put these benches in here. These are the uh, church benches. Uh, Amish have church in their homes. They take turns hosting church within their church districts. Uh, so the church service takes place every other Sunday. It's about three and a half to four hours long, so you'd be on benches like this for that long of a time period. Church services are in Old German. Men sit on one side, women on the other. The hosting family will provide a light meal when it's done. Uh, it then just turns into basically a day of family time, spending time with friends. They do no work on Sundays. Uh, the only work they would do would be, of course, if they had farm animals to take care of the animals. That off Sunday that they don't have church, that's referred to as Fellowship Sunday. Guys, we drove, uh, we drove very far to come to this place. I'll be explaining in a minute, but for now, just watch and see what's going on. Yeah, this one we used to use in our, yeah. our home. It's the old school. Right. Yeah, this is what's going on. Whoa. Uh, this is obviously the kitchen. This is going to be one of the larger rooms in the home and also one Amish of the warmest home. rooms in the house. Very common for them to have a sofa in the kitchen. Uh, we don't, but sometimes the rooms just get so big. But just a good place if you're not feeling well, you have a sick child, and just stay in the nice warm kitchen. Over there, we have an old-fashioned coal-burning stove that has not been used since the 1930s. 
put on top of it is an old cast iron iron. Very heavy to pick up. Uh, that's what they do use today. Uh, they don't do very much ironing in their clothing, but that's the type of iron they would use. Put it on top of their heat source. We have a refrigerator and a stove here in the kitchen. They run on a propane tank. So as I said, driving around, you see a house with a big propane tank, dark green window shades. Pretty safe bet that's going to be an Amish home. Over there on that counter, we have a modern mixer. Uh, that runs on compressed air. They will take out the electric motor and replace it with another battery source. The reason they don't use the electricity, they don't want that physical connection to that outside power grid. You bring that electricity into your home, into your life, well, then with it, it's got their TVs and radios and all the things they just do not want. They will use any other power source to make something run. That light over the table, that can run either on gasoline or battery. This here is Guys, this is a local Amish house. See like this? two cages. It's like two cages? So it's supposed to press. You guys see. Reminds me when I was growing up, we had something like this called Jogo. <laughs> yeah. Let's go up. This is their clothes for the men, their heart. So these people, this is their swing machine. I'll say they they don't believe in modern society, like yeah. electricity and things like that. They don't. So we are doing a house tour for the Amish community. This is crazy. These are wedding boots for the girls. This is traditional wear. This, oh. this is dad's bedroom. That's boy's bedroom on the other side. <laughs> Guys, this is the room for the dad. This is for the boys. This is a traditional Amish home. These are the clothes for the girls when traditional ones. And this other side here is for the girls. And when they are 16, they can open those curtains so to attract males, you know. They're given that uh, chance. Normal dating, no arranged marriages or something. Nothing. Okay. Let's see what's going on outside here. This room is over oh, the summer kitchen. That's the room I'm going to meet you in. How's okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. So guys, we travel to this place uh, to learn about some very unique culture in the middle of the most westernized country, which is America, about the Amish people. I'll be explaining more about this, but for now, just enjoy the tour and then I'll show you more. Whoa. What's going on here? Watch it, brother. Watch it. Come out here with a lot. It's going to end up I know, right? Just to point out to you, this big gray wagon right outside. Yeah. 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 Like us, you know. Yeah. yeah. Same problems. Okay. Now I. I Wow. Never seen it on their clothesline. Maybe they hang like under the clothes or ride in the house. I mean, people wow. like So, guys, we came to a place called Amish Village in Pennsylvania, and uh, the the reason here is we're coming to learn a culture that people here, some people here in America, called Amish. They come here, or they they came here from actually Germany after being prosecuted there and uh, they ran to the u.s for religious safety you know protection so they landed in this small town here it's called the amish town or amish village so this was like a replica of the the amish houses of today and uh we've done a tour i think you've seen part of it one thing i've realized is uh, you know, the funny part is this. This is America, where every type of technology is on its high tech. But you have a group of uh, people who don't want that technology. They don't even use electricity in their houses. They want to use uh, solar forms, you know, to, for, for electricity. They even don't have things like uh, electrical washers and stuff. 
I'm trying to explain. What's going on? The, the clothes? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I was telling you, these people kind of live like uh, the way a rural African home yeah. can live. Yeah, close to. But the only difference is they are very much guided with religious beliefs. Like, for example, they have to wear plain clothes. Yeah. Yes. Like, so not like what we are wearing. They can't wear this. They can't wear anything yeah. with flowers. It has to be plain. Yeah. And now, there's something they call shunning. Yeah. Shunning is if, if you are 16 years old, the family lets you as a girl yeah. to enjoy this outside world yeah. before you get married. Before you get married. Yeah. Then you make a decision yeah. after you're enjoying it. Yeah. So you can decide you want to keep leaving this outside world or go back to the Amish. So if you decide to go back to the Amish and they baptize you, yeah. then you decide to leave after being baptized. They shun yeah. you. Mm -hmm. They say you're not part of us. Yeah. To hell with you. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is uh, something new. But uh, technically as the lifestyle, you know, the, the most fascinating part is because uh, the most fascinating part is we are in America, not in Africa. Yeah. Not in true. a village. Yeah, yeah. Where technology is on, it's high tech. Exactly. You know? And you don't expect to see people living this people way. People living this way. Yeah. Okay, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna take you. There's, we took a whole tour, so we're gonna take you to. Okay. You want us to see? I saw, the I saw, yeah, I saw some goats. Goats. Oh, the horses are here. There's horses here. This is like how they are typical. Huh? That's how their typical lifestyle is. Yeah. Wow. Really big horses, bro. Yo, bro, can I touch you, bro? Just a little bit, man. Hmm. You enjoying some food? Mm. So these people actually don't use cars. Their mode of transport is horses or maybe on the chariots. That being said, that's why you see they keep animals like this. Especially the horses. Actually, they can use cars but not be part of their driving. Like they can't drive cars or... But they can go into a car. Because all they're trying to do is they attach themselves from the modern society. Hmm. They even have goats. May goat matata. Say hello. Tomorrow's camera. Oh oh. The other one is so big, bro. Come say hello. So guys, technically this is how an Amish village looks like. Um okay, the other one is coming out. Whoa! So big. Hmm. But I think that this is a goat and that's a sheep. You okay? You be chilling? Here in the Amish village? Hmm? Hmm? Chilling, baby baby goat. Damn bro, it's chicken. It's the old way. You feel like it's 50 years ago or maybe 70 years ago. They don't use electricity in their homes. The reason is they are trying to run away from modern technology. They, they don't even use cell phones, but for those who have cell phones, they only have cell phones to do business. And this is how they call this modern world. They don't call it modern. They call it English world. English world, not modern. Uh, and you want to go see chariots? Yeah. On the other side? We have time, right? We have 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. If you don't have time, you can always come back and do it after. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Right. Uh, exactly. Yeah. These are more meal. Yo, bro. You'll be chilling. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello to some fans. <laughs> okay. They're right there. Whoa. You see the way they, they dry their tobacco? Yeah. But I don't think if they smoke, they could. They are very. 
they're very religious guys so technically i believe they don't drink or smoke i'll have to ask that question later there's a kitchen chicken sleeper chicken yeah oh wow please do not disturb it's chilling wow okay you see they, they, this is the type of electricity they use windmills you see yeah i don't know if you guys can see a windmill right there let's speak english for the sake of the video yeah so guys i'm seeing a lot, a lot of, of stuff. similarities yeah of the uh, things we do back home back home and this. the things you see in this amish village the, yeah it's um, technically the same i was telling Anne the same thing yeah what's number four paradise what is what is that? Oh, yes. Intercourse section. Oh, okay, yeah. Who is that? Let's go and see. Uh, maybe later when we come back. <laughs> Guys, remember, the Amish people don't use electricity. In that case, they use other sources of energy to provide a uh, source of energy in their home. For example, windmills. You can see they have a windmill right there. That's a windmill. Just provide energy. I feel like uh, it's just an African village in the middle of. Oh man, they have these birds, peacocks. Oh my God, look how beautiful a peacock looks like. For the first time, I'm seeing a, a peacock at a close range. Ah, so cute. You know, Anne, this one is the male, the one with a lot of colors, because you know that? it has to attract the female. It has oh. to pretend like i'm the boss so the female feels good <laughs> yeah oh. yes so cute you see what did they say oh peacocks make a loud this is so pretty. very pretty that's a long one that looks like it's wearing kitenge how do they yeah. control the kiwa i mean oh look they have eggs actually they have laid eggs wow. here you see there are many yeah, eggs yeah, yeah i see them down there you know now in this case all you need is take their is take their eggs that? that's a sheep in this case with these eggs all you need is take the eggs and put in even a chicken or something and then uh they will they will hatch but i don't know how long it takes oh so beautiful you know i plan to buy i plan to buy peacocks you know so this is a sheep, super this big. A little bit scary. Yes. <laughs> a little scary. It's a little bit scary. So guys, now we're gonna take this bus here and go to the Amish village, so we can see what to see. So there are many Amish people here, and uh, they are close to, I think, close to forty-five thousand plus in this area here. And remember all the difference between Amish people and the other one called Am Amalekites. Ah, is it Amalekites? Let me ask Anne actually. Oh, this video is gonna be just. Anne, there, there are two types there's Amish people and Am Amalekites? Amish people? Or yeah. they call them English people? No, no, no. There's, uh, there's two types there is the Amish and. Amekites, I don't know, Amelekites. I don't know that. Huh? Yeah, we, we got told on some things. The only thing I had is the British. Oh. Not the British, sorry. The, the English. English people. Oh. Okay. Hey. okay, if you have the stickers on, go ahead in. So, you are an English person? No, there's another type of Amish people. I don't know, Ami. Ami. Maybe he knows. What's that? There are two types of Amish people, right? There's Amish. There's only one no, type no, no. Amish. Okay, there is There's Amish. Only one and, Amish. Okay, Amish and the other one. The, there is no other one. It's Amish. That's it. There's the closest one to the Amish. Mennonite. Yeah, Mennonites. That's they're not Amish. Amish. They're not Amish. <laughs> Mennonites. Okay. Yeah, we can take up one of you and put it down. Take a picture. And you have to be around the window so you can see what's going on. Yeah. So let me sit here. Me Mennonites. Yeah. So guys, there are two types. Okay. Amish and Mennonites. 
So the Amish are the ones we are doing the, 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 uh, the tour about. So actually we came here to get just information about these people. Now we're gonna go and see what's going on around. Okay, what we're gonna be doing is going along the back roads of Lancaster County. Let me take you out where the Amish live, where they work. We're also gonna stop by an Amish business. The one thing I will request of you, when we do stop at that business, please do not take pictures of the Amish themselves. The Amish feel the picture is a graven image and that is a sin for them. Please honor their religious beliefs and do not take their picture. I will remind you again before we get to that business, because I've had people on this bus tell me they forget. So to keep you from forgetting, I remind you before we get to that business. And if you take the picture at that point, it's on you. Anyone taking pictures of them at that point will be walking back. It's <laughs> about eight miles. Give you an idea of thinking, hey, what did I do wrong? The quickest way to get not have that happen is don't take the picture. Simple thing. Question, sir. How about videos, not pictures? No, videos, no. <laughs> no. You can't take videos of anything. Okay. <laughs> you can't take video of any tour. Okay. I find you taking videos of <laughs> You can take still pictures, but not videos of this tour. Also, you're going to hear me say Amish and English a lot. The reason for that being is the Amish feel anyone that is not Amish is English. There is no other choice. So everyone on this bus for the next hour and a half will be English. And when we get back, you can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you have any questions while we're out and about, go ahead and ask them. I'll try to answer them right away. But if you can, please, there will be a question and answer period at, when we get back on the bus after that stop. You can ask any question you like at that time. If you could please hold them to them, it would be greatly appreciated. Because what happens when you guys have throw me questions in the middle that throws me off? Then suddenly I get... I forget what I'm doing. <laughs> it's old age. When you get there, you'll get it too. I have those senior moments, especially when you ask questions. <laughs> All right, where you guys live? Guys, Where? so they South say America. we South America. South America. So you can't you take pictures holiday? and videos of the Amish people. All together? Yeah. Let's see how it goes. About that home is that home has gone from English to Amish and now it's back English again. It is coming up here on the left hand side. And there's a lady in there working. Gonna have the garden again this year. That's it right there on Amish. the left. Over on the right, that's an Amish farm. The tall building with a round roof is called a silo. Silo holds silage. Silage is nothing more than field corn that's been ground up. Field corn is too tough for us to eat, but the animals love it, so they grind it up and use that for feed for the animals to help keep them alive over the winter. Coming up here, you're going to see that they've already got the ground ready. They'll be planting there in a little bit. Who wants to move out of that home? Right here on the left. Guys, the Amish see? bought that home about four years ago. That's an Amish home also now. No electricity. Over here no. on the right, these are the last of the English homes along this road. Once we pass these trees here, everything we see will be Amish. There we go. Now all of it is Amish from here on in. Farm on the right, that's an Amish farm as well as on the left. Now the Amishman here on the right, he's selling perennial plants for sale. There they are on the plant, on that wagon. Over here on the left, there's something on this farm that I want to go over with you once we get down there. There is a little building. It's about three quarters of the way up the driveway or the lane. Most of you probably can see that little building now. In just a second or two, everyone should be able to see it. Now, does everyone see the little building now? Over on the left. That little building is the phone booth. The Amish would call that their phone shanty. <laughs> the Amish back in the 1950s went to the bishops, told the bishops they needed a phone for emergency purposes. The bishops told them okay, they could get the phone, but the phone must be in, cannot be in the house. It, would have it is not Amish. This Amish been over here on the right used to sell hinges and harnesses. I told you about taking videos. So guys, right behind me there, it's an Amish shop. So. 
came here to do some shopping but because it's a, a guided tour they are very strict in filming so I just don't want to film but I guess we're gonna come as private citizens without the tour and we can film it will be more open for us I bought some juice here but the only one thing you have to understand it's very easy to identify an Amish home and an Amish so for all Amish homes no electricity and you're gonna see clothes outside for an Amish people uh, you see electrical poles or cables going into their homes and again you, you may not see may not see clothes outside I'm having this juice is very good for two dollars I bought here technically these people live simple life just chill life I think it's my type of vibe mm. some guy coming with the bike here Okay, this is an Amish shop. Coming up down here on the right, the Toy Train Museum right there. Any battery in the in the charge you? This is a joke. What's up, guys? Uh, today is very special. We are in a very, very, very unique place in the United States of America. Actually, you may not think we are in America, you may think we are somewhere in Africa, deep in the forest. But again, we are in America. We are uh, trying to investigate, in a good way, about a community called the Amish people. So, right now as we are, we are driving here, we are at their area where they live. Actually, these farms you are seeing, these farmlands you are seeing here, they are owned by the Amish people. So Mr. Mutua, yes. maybe you'll be going slowly so I can explain to them, yeah, yeah, with just that type of speed, so I can explain to them what an Amish house looks like. But before then, a uh, brief history of the Amish. And do you want to tell us who are the Amish? Or actually introduce yourself a little bit. Hi guys, uh, my name is Anne. Yeah. I know most of you know who I am. Yeah. So, yeah. So, who are the Amish, Anne? Uh, I think I'll let them have... I let them go to Google and yeah. Google more about them. Yeah. Yeah, because I still don't understand who they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from a very small perspective, who the Amish people are, these are very strong believers of Christ, uh, Christians who actually immigrated from Europe. Mostly, most of them came from, I think, Sweden, if I'm not wrong. And it's because there they were being prosecuted for their strong beliefs on uh, Christianity. So they came to America in search of um, religious freedom. So when they came here, the land that looked like theirs was this one. Wait, wait, wait. Amish guy! Whoa! You've seen? Yeah, that's, that's their kind of bike. Whoa, 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 whoa! You've seen that bike? Yeah. So it's very easy, guys, to tell if a house is Amish or not. Yes. Number one is you see if there is any electrical cables. How did we go actually? I think this way. You're gonna see if there's any electrical cables in the home or not. For example, you see here these cables, these cables here. So if you see a house with no cables going in. Yeah, the kids. Yeah, the kids are here. Look, the kids are working, man. Where is your phone? I could oh. drop one. <laughs> but you have to be careful to be Peter. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 oh, man, video, okay. Kids, kids. So you see the kids are working in the farms with their yeah. mom. This is like uh, five years old. Kids. Five years old, they are working. And you see, they're in America. In other places, you're going to say that's child labor. Yeah. But you see with culture here, actually, they are allowed to do that. They are allowed to do that. And that's one thing uh, I don't understand. Um, the American government will entertain that but it won't entertain it when the African culture is doing it you understand yeah it's a little controversial look go slow go slow you see what's going on look man they are working wow, wow. what kind of they are special Did bikes you them those are special have bikes have you seen those bikes no I haven't seen them oh but you've they seen you yeah. you've seen they don't have a frame the frame is all the way on the bottom wow so for example yeah. here that's an English home because you can see 
cables, cables and cars going there. Yeah. Actually, most of these people they don't have uh, cars and they don't have uh, electricity in their homes. For example, this one is an Amish, Amish home. Yeah, no because cables. No cables going there. Yeah. Even the next one, you can tell that's an Amish home, and they have a lot of farming, like yeah. um, cows and and do you know? Wow. And most of the time, look, um, one thing you have to understand is so these look, people, mm -hmm. uh, this is an know, English home. And stores, they they farm their own food. Yeah, they farm their own food. They look, sell to themselves. For example, right there in those homes, you'll see yeah. the clothes being put outside. You they can go milk, slow. They milk cows. They milk cows. They. You see like that home over there? They have clothes outside. Yeah. That's because... They don't even have washing machines which you which run by electricity and anytime you see a car for example let's say one or two cars in a home that that's, looks amish that's an, english. that's an english home or they have rented that car for example this can't be an amish home because they have electricity the reason why they are avoiding electricity is because they don't want people to they don't want there are people to use those electricity and use cell phones and use TVs then they get corrupted you know yeah. to the modern world actually they don't call it modern they call it English world like that's an Amish home no that's not uh, here no Amish home Stop. like this can't be an Amish home yeah we went straight Guys, we are doing our own tour. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't get lost here, guys. Uh, even if we get lost, it's good. We have GPS system. Yeah. Guys, Maybe there are no GPS system here. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't work. It won't. <laughs> it has to Do work. Do you remember yeah. how we went? How did we go here? Straight. Straight, Straight is this way. I thought we went I, to that yeah. main road. Then we went to oh, the other road. The main road. road is there again. Okay. Oh, yeah. Guys, we are getting lost here. So it's a mix of, uh, it's, it's not one community, it's a mix of English, English and yes. Amish. So when they say English, it's somebody who does not believe in their beliefs. So even me as black person right now, they will call me English. Yeah. Because I don't participate in their beliefs. Like for example, not having electricity in their homes. Yeah, yeah I think know, that's what we I went before. this way, then we did a corner on the other side. Yeah. Because I have the same question. So if a black guy, Spanish or in, I think it's right else. up here. You need to turn around. Which uh, way? Think we need to go after that. We need some place for the post office. Okay. We are trying to trace how we came, guys. So you think I should go back? No, I think we need to go up. Let's be here. Oh. Did you guys see this? Which one? Get called this gas station. This one? No. I think we got lost. Oh, I can make you. So guys, uh, we are trying to show you the Amish homes here. And these homes are very, very, very unique because they don't have electricity. Okay. Oh. Guys, we are now in the Amish community. We're just cruising here. So one thing is, uh, they don't allow pictures, right? Yeah. So that's why we can't go up close and say we're just giving you an. It's a, a very unique culture, guys. And uh, look, there are clothes outside. Okay. So once you see clothes outside, you just know that's an Amish home. Like and look, right here, right? Hmm? and when you realize there's no electricity, we, we just have to follow. Oh, yeah. Just this yeah. Wow, Amish homes. This is not, but uh, let's see where. Oh, yeah, let's go slow. Oh my god, this is crazy. Yeah. That's what they believe. Those are the kind of bikes. Wow. wow. That's okay because we didn't show his face. Yeah. So that's not <laughs> crazy. Oh. Wow. 
have you seen those bikes? They yeah, look they, like 19... And they don't want a bike they can cycle. Yeah, like real bicycle. No. It's like something you are pushing, you are forcing yourself. Look, look, another Amish home. Like Just go slow, mode. Mr. Mutua. Oh, there you go. So that's their home. Guys, you see? They have... They wash their clothes. Another bicycle is right there. Let's yeah. go, let's go. Look at the same thing, man. Yeah, guys, let us show you. Another bicycle of the Amish. This is something... These people live like 19, I don't know, 1700s. And you know, they are pushing with one leg as yeah. they go up. Man, and their cars, people are moving like us, you are moving next to them. So this, did you say why they can't go away? Wait, wait, look, another uh, Amish home. Those bicycles? Yeah. Damn. Oh. Look, another lady working. So the ladies, I realize the ladies do all the home stuff. Cutting yeah, grass. cutting grass and stuff and everything. Yeah. I haven't seen yeah. any man cutting grass. It's no, I think men go to the field. Yeah. Like farming, plowing. Mm. They do like hard jobs. Hard jobs. And yeah. the ladies are around home to take care of the family. Look at their chariots. Let's go slow, Mr. Mutual. Those are their chariots, guys. Can you see right there? Those are their chariots. Wow. And all these fields you see yeah. belong to them. All this farmland. I don't know yeah, if you guys are, can see. Yeah, he says something all about this land. 30 to the 50 30 acres. 30 to 60, 60 acres. acres. Yes. They own, they own. Look, go slow. Gonna make this is way. a mix of everything yeah. because it's still, you see their, their clothes, So, but they have a business. So like that car you're seeing, they had to uh, to like rent it for a day or some hours. They don't believe in driving cars. They don't believe in. It's very unique. Very unique. The bike thing was the fun. I'm gonna show you more yeah, big fans, man. Look, another more Amish community. Mm -hmm. Their business. This is an Amish business. Can we go inside here? Uh, yeah, let's try. Yeah, guys, no electricity here, I'm telling you. Like this home, you see, it doesn't have cables of electricity. They have horse, chariot. It's a very unique culture. But uh, it reminds me of Africa, actually. Uh, the big difference I see here is we're in America. We're in America. But this can be anywhere in Africa. Yeah. Anywhere in Africa. That lifestyle. But you know, you thinking that we are in America. They are constructing. Oh, somebody's building. But it's an, an Amish home. Oh, look at the fields. Go slow uh, as they show you on this other side. Huh? You see how, how much they land big. they... Yeah, man, they are huge. huge. Yeah, even this home here is wow. pure Amish. Um, the, the boy is grazing. You've seen that? Yeah, the lady, yeah. The lady cl yeah. yeah it's cutting grass. Yeah, cutting wow. grass. Look, hey, you see the chariot in front of us? Yeah. Let's go. Have you seen it, Mr. Mutu? Yeah, that one right yeah. there. Yeah. Not even one, there's another one. So wow. you have to go slow. There's another one. Let's go. Uh, not not here. Let's keep going. Then we take the right. I'm gonna go this way, right? Oh, this. Yeah. You guys want me to go this way, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. That how, looks how, like a how tour. Was, was eh? That looks like a tour. Yeah. Wait. Ngoje kito go na juu hata hata simiako. That's the lifestyle of the Amish people. So in. Yeah, it's just crazy how people like live here. You can feel the smell in the air. Yeah. It's pure manure. Yeah. Like organic, you know when you use organic uh, fertilizer, yeah. so it smells. Yes. Yeah, guys, let me show you what's going on here. Hmm. The 
the Amish village. Guys, if you see in this home here, there is a wind, wind, wind what? Is it wind vane? Yes. It's the source of electricity here. And anytime you see clothes outside, it goes slow. Just. It's another lady there, cut. Oh wow. Yeah. It looks so serious. Even the other ladies on the other side. I feel like cutting grass here is for the ladies now. Yeah, because that's all we are seeing all the time. Ladies, yeah. ladies, ladies. Actually, we actually, not seeing the men. men. Yeah, that's so true. So I guess they work indoors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even right there is a lady. Yeah. And you see, one thing we've learned is uh, in the Amish community, when a girl is 16 years old, they can only study actually up to grade eight, right? Yes. That's number one. So they have to study up to grade eight. And when the girl is uh, 16 years old, she's left to explore the world. Yeah. Technically. They and, and not the only the girl, it's both the boys yes. and girls. Yes. So they'll go explore the world and see the English, test the English lifestyle. Yeah. Then once they test that, they will decide if they really want to keep being Amish or not. Yes. In that case, if, uh, if they decide to be Amish, they will go back to church and get baptiz baptized. So if you get baptized and then you decide to leave the Amish, your family rejects you and says to hell with you and everything. So you, they give you a chance. They give you a chance of, um, of you going out there and exploring the life of the English, which is we people who are not the Amish people. Then after that, they will let you decide if really, really you want to be Amish. So I think around 18 or 20 years you get baptized, now you live the life they are living. So it's not like they are forced. Yeah. You know other people may say, oh you force people, you make them slaves and all that. No, it's not the case. When you are 16, you, you get freedom. Yeah. But remember, they don't study anything science in school. Yeah. Nothing science, they study only history and things like uh, just simple mathematics. That looks like an English Amish. Yes. yes. You know? Remember we found young kids yeah. running shops. Like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I even was, uh, six or seven years old. Running shops. We've running seen shops. them here. Yeah. Yeah. I thought the, the boy was selling lemonade. Yeah. He said that, that is his shop. Can you imagine a seven year old? Yes. Owns a shop. Guys, their main economical activity it's things to do with construction and uh, farming. Yeah. Yes. Guys, if you're watching this, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Oh, I think actually we came here. You know, this is the same space we came here. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, where we, we, we entered, so we passed. Oh, yeah, we passed. It's happening in David too. Guys, this is the lifestyle of the Amish people. Look at the kids, man. Yeah, that's, that's so what? unique, bro. Wow. Wow, it's so unique. Uh, super yeah, unique. Okay, I feel like we are not in America, man. It doesn't feel like we're in America. Wow. Look at these bicycles, bro. Whoa. What? That's the school, you know? Yeah. This is cool. So from here we go this way. Right? Yeah. This is where we, we lost the other time. Happens. Right. Yeah. Uh, these are all Amish friends, guys. Uh, no they electricity in those they homes. power their homes? You can imagine. I think they use maybe solar. Oh, they use also biogas, that gas thing, you know? All these are Amish homes. But they have beautiful lands. Look how they live, guys. Yeah. And they farm this land, and uh, from there, they're able to make a living. Yeah. 
So any home you see with electricity, that tells you it's not Amish. Like this one, it's not Amish. You want to it up and... That's English. All they know here, they don't know African, they don't know European. They know <laughs> Amish or oh, English. English. <laughs> That's all they know. That's not bad. Yes. <laughs> Amish homes. Look, a home like this, no electricity. You know. Even that entire yard. I don't know what those things are. And sea uh, The tall ones? Yeah, the tall ones. Yes. Well, what are they? Silos. They call si them silos. Silos. They, they keep. Uh, that's where they keep food for for the animals. Oh. Yeah, for winter. During time. winter. Yeah. Okay. And you know it's the ladies who are, are, are yeah, most driving. Most of the time, them. it's always red. ladies. Yeah, hiding them. This is, we haven't seen any man outside doing anything. I'm going somewhere. They use the horses. The, the horses all the time. Huh? People here. These are Amish homes. Okay, but these are English homes. Yeah, very green land. Yeah. Very, very green land. Okay, yeah, they do a lot of serious farming. Yeah. It's beautiful, beautiful. It looks like 19th century, bro. So it's like every it's home owns that, right? Yes. And it's the so means of transport for kids going to, to the go market to school. Or to school, or maybe yes. from school. Yes. So, when you are going to the market, that's an Amish furniture store. Hmm. How interesting. I'm telling you, life in the Amish area here is something else. You know, one thing that I've, we've really wondered about these Amish people, their kids go to work. And also, the, but in other countries it will be considered child labor. But here even they have, here in America? Even here in America, Some right? States, so. But imagine here the kids go to, to the farm. We've seen them feed goats, planting. But it's normal. A seven-year-old running a shop? Yeah, a seven-year-old running a shop. said it's my shop. He said it's his shop. I couldn't just film him because and you know why those they have those kind of crazy bicycles you saw i say crazy with all respect mm -hmm. it's because they don't want them to go far away from their own <laughs> community that's, a very funny that's amish right there amish stuff see they're selling furniture and everything oh yeah look at all those bikes they have. so guys we finishing up this video of the amish uh, people uh, let me start with Anne. Anne, what have you learned? I know we didn't show much, yeah. but what have you learned? So much about them. I yeah. actually love their culture. The, yeah, whatever they do, I think yeah. it's something that I can do yes. personally. Yeah. yeah. If given an option of the life you're living right now and the Amish life, so I'll far go, by. Yeah, I'll go to the Amish life. Yeah. So I guys, think, uh, yeah. One more. So I think now, since uh, my wife, she wanna be Amish. Yeah. So I think what you're gonna be doing uh, every night, we're gonna be dropping our cell phones, <laughs> leaving them behind. Okay. We can't walk. You know, you can't. The house with the cell phone. You can with, take them to the house. In the yes. army, yeah. You drop them somewhere at the gate. Yeah. Yes. There. So and. I, so I think we're gonna start practicing tonight, right? When you get on. Okay, we'll try. But then we are not Amish yet. Oh, you I have mean, to go full. You don't to have to one. go. You have to be baptized. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but it's a good thing, especially for the people with the families. You get yes. to spend time with your family. family. You don't have... Imagine the kids yeah. only go to school up to eighth okay. grade. Mm -hmm. After that, they are left to experience this life yeah. when they are about sixteen years old. Yeah. Then from there. They will decide do i want to be amish or or or, or english or english yeah. actually they don't know african they don't know european they know 
Amish or, or English. English. Yeah. So you can imagine whether guys, you are yellow, green, blue, or they purple. don't know that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot yeah. personally. I think their lifestyle is purely what people should embrace. That's because what I've, I've learned from them is they are trying to run away from the government as yeah. and, and, and manipulation. Because right. the reason they don't have electricity, they say it is because they don't want TV. They don't yes. want cell phones yeah. because they know these things manipulate internet. internet and all that. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. We also learned that there are ladies in yeah. bath at yeah. home. At home. Yes. Guys, this is in America. People still, ladies still giving bath at home. Yeah, imagine. Wow. Me, all I'm impressed is they are able to live without government interference. Yeah. yeah. Without these systems. Oh, it's yellow, it's green, it's red, it's. You know, it's the cars. Yeah. Actually, even the cars, they can only rent it for a few while. Yeah. And 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 turn it back. Let's say they wanna carry he heavy table. Or time the, of emergency. Or time of emergency yes. only. Yes. But they still go to hospitals. But they practice also the other type of medicines, yeah. which is homo homo homotherapy something homotherapy. I don't know how to say yeah. it. Right. Oh, you still have your Amish tour badge? <laughs> <laughs> Some tour. <laughs> Time to drop Amish tour badge. All right, guys. Uh, I'll say you can do the tour. It's okay, but just know you can't film. They don't want you to take pictures. They don't want you to film. It's better even when you are alone because you are free yeah. to do that. They actually and say it's it's a scene for the yeah. Amish people. Yeah, yeah. Yes, to, be yes. and, uh, to be filmed and to be filmed, especially their faces, guys. Mm -hmm. So that's why we didn't show any faces. But I've seen videos on YouTube where they are being filmed. Yeah. Especially yeah. YouTubers who have gone there. Yeah. Guys, if you know any Amish person close to you, yeah. let them invite me to their home. If Mr. Mtua wants to come and earn, yeah. we are ready to go and experience yeah. also this whole thing, even for a weekend. Yeah. yeah. We can work in the farm, we have no problem. We can work in the we farm. We can milk the cows. We can milk we can the cows. The eggs. We'll do yes, anything. Yes, we'll do anything. Yeah. Alright, guys, see you on the next one. Please follow Mr. Mtua. Yes. Guys, and Ann, also here. Ann was the mastermind of the tour. Mr. Mtua, thank you, Anne. yes, yeah. thank you Welcome. so much. Yeah. Now we are going to Texas Roadhouse. And guys, guess yes. who's buying us lunch? Yeah, Marwa. Marwa. It's <laughs> okay. like it's his first time no, buying the lunch. No, 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 he no, no, no. But it's they're always complaining because okay. they, I don't, they, I don't know. They want to know how we live, but yeah. what I can say, Marwa is a great. And you visitor. know, in in Africa, in Africa, we do things very different. Yeah. Yes. I know some Africans once they come to America, they change. Yeah. But mostly, most of us, for example, I don't expect when Mr. Mutua comes to my home, I'm asking him like, Mr. Mutua, <laughs> we are going for lunch. I, I can't do that. It's a shame. And you know another thing I also wanted to mention because you brought that up. Even me. Oh, let that. Nan Amish car, English car go. <laughs> 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 yeah, so another thing I was, I was supposed to mention is look, even our home, we welcome strangers every single day. Yeah. My mom cooks for them, my mom gives them a place to sleep. It's never been a problem, guys. And please have a heart beyond just that, you know? Yeah. Yes. Thank you, guys. Let's All right. go. All right. I think I'll convert to Amish. If you're an Amish out there, you know, I, I, I keep saying I'm not religious. Yes. Yeah. For the first time, I'm feeling where I'm affiliated to. Yes, Man, I loved when I saw the women with the babies in yeah. the chariots. Yes. yes. Just like riding home. Yes. Wow. Tomorrow you have a chance to uh, look around. Yeah. You may bump into a, an, an Amish, Amish girl. Yeah. And uh, well, we have a, a four-seater, so. <laughs> <laughs> All I need is you, baby, baby Over. How much do I need to party here in Jamaica? Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan.
eres, Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to...